let's face it, sometimes you miss the gym and it can suck and it can be frustrating, but life happens. So how do you make the most of it? How do you deal with that? What are some things that you can still do to make gains without getting in the gym? That's what we're diving into today's episode. So strap in, get ready for episode 185. Let's go. The future of fitness. How do you gain muscle mass? Fitness is not complicated. It's simple when you break it down. There's so much information out there. No fads, no diets, just plain simple habits. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the show. So glad to have you here. For all my return listeners, thank you for coming back. It means the world to me. And before we dive into today's topic of conversation, if you have not joined our text community, please text the word podcast to 706-222-7551. What that is, is it's a literally a text community where I can text you, you can text me if you have any questions, any suggestions for the show, any feedback, like literally anything you you can text me at that number. And then each week I send out a few just kind of messages to you. Uh, could be a video I would just released, some fitness tips, some recipes, just different things to keep you motivated throughout your week. Because let's be honest, we all need some encouragement from time to time. All right, with that being said, let's dive in. So yeah, you missed the gym. You know, something came up with your kids, something came up with work, you were scheduled to go in at a certain time to the gym, and it just, it didn't happen because let's face it, life happens. And it happens more often than not. (laughs) But you know, there's always so many things that can pull us away that can distract us from getting in the gym. And rather than getting just completely frustrated and throwing in the towel and like, screw it, I just don't have time. We first off, we need to reevaluate a few things. Is there a better time to go? And often there is for me personally, I go super early in the morning. You know, here's the thing about super early workouts, because I get asked a lot about that. I don't think that they're necessarily better. In fact, I can lift a little bit heavier in the afternoon than at five o'clock in the morning. However, I can't always get in the gym in the afternoon. I have kids, they have to be picked up from school, I have work, like between all that, you know, there's after school activities that my oldest has. And so you kind of see how, you know, the afternoon gym session could get skipped because again, life happens. Whereas at 5 a.m., nobody's up. I'm not at work yet. My family's still in bed. Well, my wife's up, but my kids are still asleep. And it's just a time where I know that I can get in there. The biggest challenge with 5 a.m. workouts is not hitting the snooze button on your alarm clock because you're in bed. It's starting to get colder. So bed feels really nice in the morning and you wake up and you're like, "Eh, I could skip today. I could go later. And so there's that game that you have to play. But all in all, if you're strapped for time, I truly think that early, early in the morning is your best bet for it being consistent. But I digress. I want to talk about what happens on the days when you do miss the gym. Let's say there's a day and something comes up and you're like, crap, I'm missing the gym. Well, first thing you need to focus on is your nutrition because nutrition matters far more than your one gym session anyway. So you can make up for a lot of your gym session with your food. So if you're trying to lose weight and you miss your gym session and you're not able to get in a workout, eat a little bit less, skip that afternoon snack, skip that evening snack, you know, accommodate for those calories that you're not going to burn by allotting for them in your in your diet. Have a little bit smaller portion at dinner. These things can counterbalance the missing the workout. And while I'm not saying that it's good to miss a workout by any means, I'm saying it's not the end of the world if you miss one here or there. Uh, I think sometimes we put so much emphasis on like, oh my gosh, if I'm not at the gym six days a week, then I'm not going to make gains. Well, even if you're there two times a week, which you know I do suggest going more than two times, but even if you're there two times a week, you're making more progress than if you don't go at all. So we, we get the, these ideas stuck in our head that it has to look like this, it has to be quantified in this amount in order for it to be beneficial, but that's not really true. Any small step forward is a small step forward. It's forward progress. It may not look exactly like we want it to look, but it's still forward progress. Some other things you can do if you miss your time in the gym, do something at home. You know, we have literally at our fingertips every piece of information we could ever want to know. Now, we may have to sift through some of that information to find the correct information. However, we have freaking everything where there's apps out the kazoo, there's YouTube. You can find a quick home workout video with a touch of a few keys. 
So take advantage of that. There's nothing wrong with doing a quick 15 minute HIIT workout at home if you didn't have time to go to the gym. That's still gonna get your blood moving. It's still gonna be great for you. Like, is it going to, you know, work you out the same as going in the gym? Probably not, but it's still a workout. It's still forward progress. It's still better than doing nothing. And if you're just completely exhausted, like pull up and do 15 minutes of yoga. Like that is the most, you know, and, and I'm t- I'll be the first one. I'm terrible about staying consistent with yoga. I have not built the consistent habit. The longest I went was earlier this year. Yeah, it was earlier this year, and I made it about 40 days straight. And I'm telling you, the difference I felt was incredible. It's uh, like I'm a believer. I truly am that yoga is so beneficial. I just, it, it's all on me. I haven't developed that habit yet to where it's a daily occurrence. It happens once in a while, but it needs to happen more often because it's so beneficial. So, you know, throw on some uh, some yoga for 15, 20 minutes that you pull up from YouTube. Like there's so many different options you can do. So I just don't want you to get blindsided by, oh shoot, I missed the gym. My whole day is just gone now because what we can do is we can fall into this rut where oh i missed the gym so i might as well have a cheat meal because this day is just a wash no it's not just because you missed your gym workout the day is not a wash you can still be super on point on your diet you can pump out some push-ups before bed and that day is still a win just because you didn't necessarily get in the gym doesn't mean that day is not a win we can beat ourselves up so much so that we digress into this hole of despair and depression and and it just it leads to bad places so i want to encourage you not to go down that rabbit hole and instead to focus on the things that are in your control because we can't always control what comes up at work we can't always control what comes up in our family's lives and what we need to take care of we can't but what can we control I can control that I missed my workout and i'm gonna skip my afternoon snack or maybe have a lower calorie afternoon snack Rather than going for the protein bar, I'll have a handful of grapes, something to munch on to kind of satisfy that hunger, but it's not going to be high in calorie because I missed my gym workout. And I'm coming from this at a point of I've been there and I still have those days when I miss a workout. I feel like I've just screwed up my whole day. I've let myself down. I've let other people down. And it can be this crazy place that your mind goes. Our mind is a powerful thing powerful thing and we you know we exude energy out in our thoughts i'm not trying to get like super weird here but like our our thoughts have power they have energy and so if you're creating a negative energy that's going to follow you and carry over into what you're doing that day and we don't want that so stay positive you know look at the things that are in your control to control the things that you can change the things that you can work on even if you miss a gym workout because it's not the end of the world one other thing you can add just to your home (laughs) equipment even if you don't have any grab a resistance band I talk about these a lot. Um, I have a ton of videos on resistance band training on YouTube. I have a whole playlist of them. And they're such a great thing because A, they're cheap. You can get a four pack, I think, on Amazon for like 35 bucks. You can get them in different strengths. So you can go from easy to hard with them. And you can literally work out every single muscle group with these resistance bands. So they're super helpful. I have some, I take them on the road with me when I travel usually because I don't know what's gonna be available where I go. And so yeah, that's just one more way you can have kind of a backup plan. You know, backup plans aren't really great because then we're giving ourselves the opportunity to fail, but we also have to account for the fact that life freaking happens. All right, I am done with this rant today, I think. All right, if you found this helpful, please go check us out on YouTube. Uh, I just hit 400 videos on there, insane. So if you have a question on an exercise or a workout routine or what split you should do or snacks you should eat, like I'm telling you, there's a video on it. So head on over to youtube.com slash bones to bulk. You will not be disappointed. Well, maybe you will. I hope not. (laughs) Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. And above all else, remember that regardless of what walls you're facing, what things you're coming up against, what mental battles you are maybe staring down. You can overcome them all. You've got this. 